Hi everyone, I'm Ayush Shah, Product Manager for VMware GreenPlum's Unmanaged Data Team. And today we will be talking about GreenPlum Federated Queries. Federated Queries are the ability to answer a SQL query with the information from different sources. As we see here, we have a number of different sources to store and manage data, like GreenPlum, Hadoop, Hive, S3, and many more. So the complexity is increased by the fact that all possible data can be stored in different formats and multiple systems based on operational requirements of the users. So the question is, how can we access all this data? How do we access it from one system and one place, like GreenPlum? Let's consider a few use cases to understand this. The simplest case is when the data is stored in GreenPlum in its own internal format. Here we have a table holding all the information about customers, and we issue a query to find the names of all customers located in California. Since the data is stored within GreenPlum, this scenario is simple, fast, and efficient. Now let's consider all orders that our customers place. This data is stored in Apache Hadoop Data Lake as a set of CSV files on HDFS. What we want to do here is to be able to read orders from Hadoop on the fly and be as seamless to the users as possible. We want it to look like a normal SQL query that users would issue, not even realizing that the data is not stored or managed by GreenPlum. Here's an example of how such a query would look like where we are finding all orders from a specific date. And finally, taking the scenario one step forward, we want to merge data between several di different systems while still making it easy for end users to write such queries. In our example here, we want to see orders from a specific date along with customer names. Here, the order information comes from the data stored in Hadoop, while the customer data is received from GreenPlum internal storage. This would give the users the power to query across different systems and data formats to get a unified view of the data spread throughout. Another use case where this capability comes very handy is running analytics on data spread across multiple systems based on the age of the data. Some business processes might require high rates of data injection and is best served by in-memory data grids. As time goes on and the data ages, it might be moved to intermediate storage. And then finally, the data might end up in long-term archival storage in a data lake. Making all this data available to GreenPlum for ad hoc analytics in a transparent and user-friendly way is a very powerful feature. So going back to the question, how can we access all this data? We will now talk about the different components with GreenPlum that enable users with a seamless way to access external data. One of the component is PXF or the platform extension framework that allows users to connect to various external sources where data is stored in various different formats. There are three main use cases for PXF. The first one is data federation, which means being able to access data from external systems and merging subsets of data residing in hot, warm, or cold storage into a consistent data set. The second use case is data exploration. So being able to discover and explore data in external systems without bringing the whole data set into GreenPlum. And then finally, data migration. So bringing data from external systems into GreenPlum for future analysis or offloading raw data or results from GreenPlum into external systems 
for permanent storage or downstream consumption. We also have the Spark and Gemfire connectors. The VMware Green Plum connector for Apache Spark provides high speed parallel data transfer between GPDB and Spark clusters. They support interactive data analysis, in memory analytics processing, as well as continuous and batch pipelines. The connector for VMware GreenPlum and Gemfire, on the other hand, enables users to have data mirroring capabilities between Gemfire and GreenPlum. As we know, GPDB is based on PostgreSQL SQL and FDW, short for Foreign Data Wrapper, is a standardized way of handling access to remote objects from SQL databases. PostgreSQL SQL introduced FDW read support since PostgreSQL 9.1 and write support since 9.3. External tables have been widely used in GPDB, like loading, unloading using GPF dist protocol, and accessing other systems using PXF. Compared with FDW, external tables can be easily implemented only by writing a single single like create external table, but distinguish between read and write external tables. That means you need to create readable external tables for read only and writable external tables for write only. FDW is more standardized and community friendly. There are many databases that have been developed corresponding FDW, which allows PostgreSQL to easily access remote databases this also helps GPDB to access the foreign databases. We have tested the corresponding FDW for GPDB, like MySQL, Kafka, Microsoft, SQL Server. The community FDWs for PostgreSQL can be easily implemented in GPDB. We have also developed a Greenplum FDW which is also known as GP2GP. With GP2GP, we can easily access the remote Greenplum database and push down some of the queries to the remote segments of Greenplum. In GP7, there is also an important feature for FDW. GP7 FDW supports multiple hosts foreign server. If the foreign server is implemented on multiple hosts, we can easily access the multiple hosts by creating one single server and one foreign table. It takes only several weeks to introduce such kind of multiple hosts foreign server FDW into GPDB, for example, ClickHouse, only with some connection codes, code changes of the FDW that are needed to update. Moreover, we support filter AGG limit pushdowns for such kind of the multiple hosts FDW so that we can push down these motions to the remote system, taking good use of the processing capabilities of the remote system without gathering all the data back into GPDB and the performing single point calculations on the coordinator of Greenplum database. We also developed PostgreSQL FDW into a um, uh, the Postgres FDW into a multiple hosts FDW so that we can support importing Postgres SQL cluster into Greenplum database. There are several ways to load data into GPDB. Insert is a standardized way to load data into GPDB, but only for single or micro batch loading, and it has considerable overhead. Copy can copy data from standard input files or from a command. It supports option all segment copy data to different segments in parallel. Copy is also the foundation of many utilities like GP Backup, PG Dump, PG Restore, and GP Copy. GPF Dist is a Greenplum database parallel file distribution program. It provides a high performance parallel way to load batch data into GPDB. GPF disk can take good use of the CPU resources and network resources. You can create several GPF disk process to run in parallel 
You can also specify a YAML to perform the transform of the files before loading. GPLoad is a Python wrapper of GPFDist. It provides a YAML configuration to make better use of GPFDist. The transformations, external table reuse, before command and after command are supported. And, but this is also already frozen, so no new features are to be added. GPSS, short for Green Plum Streaming Server, is a streaming server with a client-server architecture. GPSS is designed for loading streaming data like Kafka, RabbitMQ. Meanwhile, GPSS also supports files and S3 loading. Uh, by using GPF disk the protocol, GPSS provides a high performance of streaming loading and file loading. GPSS will support distributable implementation, both self-deployed or on the U Kubernetes. GPSS is a streaming analytic engine that provides high-performance streaming loading with Kafka, RabbitMQ files, and S3 using GPFDIST protocol. GPSS can also store the history tables in GPDB and store the job data into a specified job store location so that when the GPSS server is restarted, the job never stops. GPSS also provides different consistency levels, like exactly once, at least once, and at most once. And meanwhile, GPSS supports input transform and output transform. And um, on the roadmap, GPSS will support unloading to files and uh, the distributed the trans uh, implementation. GP copy provides a high performance way to copy data between two Greenplum databases. It is very useful for migrating data from the lower version GPDB to the higher version GPDB. GP copy helps you with the data copy as well as the metadata copy. If you already have data in the target database, GP copy provides options for you to choose whether to keep them or drop the tables it directly. You can specify a table list in the file to filter among the tables. You can also restart a job based on the failure list to copy only the tables that were not successfully copied last time. Meanwhile, options like SSL, snapshot are also supported. A YAML configuration will be supported soon. Then. You can use YAML configuration files instead of writing a long command line. Thank you so much. And I hope this gives you a better idea of Greenplum and federated queries.